Hey guys, Craig here again. Um, bit of a channel update for you. Uh, as you can see, um, I've just received my Tacom FV432 Mark II slash 1. Um, it's a kit I've been waiting for for a long time actually. Um, I'm quite fond of the old 43 series, um, particularly being brought up around things like the 434, which is the recovery variant of it. Um, 436, 438s have, have been around the mall in the past. Um, so this is actually quite a, a, a kit that I've been waiting for to come out in plastic over the Acura Armour variant of it, which is the resin. Um, so this is a bit of a, an inbox review. We'll have a look in the box, see um, what Takuma have done. And then we'll do a build log on the bad boy, um, just for a change. Uh, I've got other things going on in the background as well, which are nearly finished. Um, but this primarily is all about the 432. Um, so as you can see from the box, it's um, British Army, uh, based around sort of like 80s, 90s era. Bearing in mind it's got the Chieftain in the background. Um, so looking at the box then, on the sides it gives you two different variants. It gives you the, um, the old German Berlin um, colours on here for the urban camo. It gives you the desert variant if you wanted to do the um, 7th Armoured Brigade Desert Rats in um, Op Granby, which would have been the first Gulf War. On the other side it gives you a nice um, layout of all the sprues and all the pieces in the box. Photo etch and the decals. And then other Tacom items, which predominantly are the Chieftain um, kits that they've got available. The 11, the 5, the Mark 10, and the old Marksman um, experimental version of that. So, I've actually been in the box and I've taken everything out of the, um, the sleeves just for ease. Um, so opening the box then, we'll open it up. And we'll try and do that to try and keep everything in singing. So, big manual, oops, it's got a nice big thick manual to it, um, excellent diagrams on the front and then it's got a, a description of the vehicle at the bottom basically telling you what it is and um, what the vehicle's done. Again it's got colour paint charts in the front page. Second page is basically um, a read before assembly Paints required, applying decals, just the normal sort of stuff that you'd get. Page two is the spruce um, sprue key, showing you everything that's on the sprues. Um, it is numbered, although the numbers are, are slightly smaller in, in the actual pictures. Um, but you get the general gist. So step three then, or page three, is the start of the build. It's basically showing you the building of the interior. And all the interior components starting off um, with the rear seat and then into the driver's compartment up here uh, radios and the like clansman radios batteries and all that sort of stuff going on into the interior page four then is starting to do the interior for the seats and pedals and the like stage six is the bulkheads for the back fighting compartment um, and it just goes on more interior stuff I won't bore you it gives you the option having the seat up or down uh, the commander seat up or down driver's seat up or down again you've got the choice of the seats being up or down in the rear um, and it's just adding oops bulkheads and the like in the in the rear I've changed camera position by the way um, so it's a lot higher than it normally is, so I'm just trying to get to grips with that. Um, so page 9 then is all about the um, air purification system in, in the rear. And fitting the side walls and the uh, rear bulkhead for the door. Step 10 is adding the brackets and everything for the rear hinges for the door. Tool bins, oh we'll go there, is that part, turning it to make two. Step 11 is then going on to the chassis and the hull and adding the suspension components and then it's showing you the easy track um, tool that you've got there which we'll come on to shortly. 
Um, then it's going on to idler wheels and all that sort of stuff. Drive sprockets, drive wheels, and adding all that to the hull. Step 15 is the tracks. Uh, 16 is putting the final pieces of the suspension on, followed by fitting the tracks. And then it shows you in step 17 how the tracks are supposed to look and sit. Um, 18 is the mud flaps and the like. 19 is the rear door. Rear door. 20 is the air conditioning system for the rear of the fighting compartment. 21 is... Uh, control panels and tools, Pioneer kit and all that sort of stuff for the upper upper hole on the outside. 22 is tool bins, antennas, hatches uh, and at the back there the orange flashy winky pot. 23 is if this you're going to use this as a motor variant you've got the hatch open um, or you can have the hatch closed, whichever way you prefer. Then it's going on to ammo racks, storage racks, exhausts. Um, I'll keep putting that out of focus for you. It's got the engine louvers, um, two piece, so you can have them open or closed. However, there's no engine detail, it's just a completely empty hole. Then we're on to the cupolas and the commander's gun. GPMG. Then we're on to the front glacis plate, which is putting the engine inspection hatch and everything on, and the smoke discharges in that step. Then moving across, we're going on to headlights and just basically finishing off the glasses plate. 29 is putting the top deck to the rest of the tank. 30 is putting on straps and um what's that S little straps and grab handles and the like 31 is adding covers 32 is toe straps 33 33 is putting on the um exhaust mounting for the exhaust to sit on. 34 is putting the exhaust and the exhaust can on. 35 then is the final parts which is the tool bins and then it's got the photo etch um, stowage compartment if you want to put that on or not. Um, I'm not putting that on on mine. Um, I'm going to leave that off. The back page then is kind of like a flip out chart. It's got a full colour um, diagram of how to paint the interior with a key and everything on it. Open that out and it's got different colour schemes for different units. Then it's got a full interior um, painting guide in colour with a key down the bottom. And then on the back page it's got a really rather awesome diagram of the 432. Um, so that covers the instruction manual then. And like I said the only one I've, I've taken everything out of the bags I've left the um, clear pieces in the bag because I don't want them to get scratched. But it basically comprises of all of the um, periscopes and lights and um, periscopes, lights, what else is on there? And the the little lights for the um, oh, bugger. The little lights at the back for the, the actual vehicle itself, indicators and the like. The next spur out of the box then you've got these tracks um, what I'll do at this point I'll put them in there I'll move that across and then we'll zoom that in a little bit there oh, let's put it back that way so as you can see um, you get large chunks of track and then you get separate links to um, put them all together um, but basically what you're looking at is the easy track system of that tool um, there doesn't appear to be any flash on any of that. It, they actually look really good. However, I've never made tracks like this with that tool before, so it'll be a first. Um, but the undersides, that has 
pretty decent detail on them to be honest um, although they are tiny very very tiny so as you can see that's my fat finger against one of the track links uh, so you have to be very careful cutting out all these little um, injection points but that, that's the track anyway you get one of those the next one out of the box then what we're basically looking at is the um, engine louvers you've got the rear the rear deck at rear deck the rear wall where the back door goes on you've also got some of the drivetrain components for the final drives you've got some of the air the boiling vessels and everything there uh, and then it's just gribbly parts really and so you can have a look at that suspension components on there some of the tools uh, this is quite hard work trying to do this with a camera so high um, but yeah basically that's what you get on Spruy. oops there's camera wobble for you I'm sure somebody will, will say something about that moving on to the next one then let's unzoom it actually so moving on to the next one then what we've got is the side panels for the the hull we've got the exhaust mountings going down here um, and then it's just what looks like all the top deck stuff um, you get the GPMG, Coppola, driver's hatch um, all that sort of stuff is on Spru F Going on the Sprue G then, there's some more camera wobble for you. Let's just move that back. So what do you get on this one? Sprue G is all the interior, all the interior pieces for the um, rear of the fighting compartment. You get the air system on this one, driver's seat. Uh, basically, it's all the interior components for that one. Um, so that is. Alright, uh, that's the first bit of flash I've seen on this piece here, just that little tiny piece here. Um, but again, everything looks very, fairly crisp. Um, very minimal cleaning up. You're just going to have to be very careful on some of these pieces for these multi-injection pins um, grips on there. Um, but, yeah, I'm sure it will come out alright. You get two sprues of this, which is your road wheels and drive sprockets. Um, and suspension components. So you get two of those. And again, the detail on that is fairly good. Or I say fairly good, it's excellent. Um, so there's the road wheels for you. Just sprockets. I'm actually kind of stretching because the camera's like nearly six foot off the deck and um, I'm trying to look up to it with my chair fully raised whilst trying to hold this and get it in the box for you. Um, anyway, Spruce, Spru B is all the towing shackles, you've got pins for the um, road wheels, you've got tool bins, Lights, gribblies, framework for the um, top bin, seats, Klansman radios. You know those Klansman radios look awesome. I don't, I don't know if, you, if that's looking all right. That's the Klansman radios for the interior. That's, that's basically it. That's um, two sprues of that one. So you get the same on the other sprue, another sprue B. So you get a total of four Klansman radios. And basically it's an exact copy of the other Sprue B. You get a large fret of photo etch, which is for the tool bin on the top deck. Um, you then get a small bag of photo etch, which are the headlight covers and grill and mud flaps. And a couple of little brackets. You get the decal sheet, so you've got four different vehicles that you can do and four different types of decals depending on how you want to display the vehicle. There's the easy track tool. Um, basically all you're doing is you're putting your wheels on and then you build the track around it 
um, place it on the tank and then glue the bottom part on. Um, I've never used one of these before so we'll see how that goes. You've got the lower deck uh, or the lower chassis. Um, again it looks really really good. Uh, it's got all the detail on the underside, all the little drain plugs and everything. Um, it's good. The back end, it's got, I don't know if you can see that, it's got all the detail moulded into the floor. All the um, checker plate and everything's all in there. Then the final piece is the top deck, which again, same as the bottom. Everything's crisp, everything's detailed. Um... Looks really good. Looks really, really, really good. On the inside, again, you've got all the, the padding and everything already pre-built. And that's what you get in the box, guys. So, um, let's just put all of that back in there. And get it out of the way, because I'm running out of space. So, uh, let's put that around. So looking at it, it's um, it looks really good. Um, I'll let you know how it builds up. I'm basically going to be doing mine very similar to this colour scheme, um, and I might do something with it with maybe um, my chieftain or something that I've got downstairs. Maybe do like a little um, dial or something, or maybe not. If it turns out real nice, I might just keep it static and just put it in the cupboard. Um, but if I balls up, I might have to. Weather it with some mud to hide whatever a ball does balls up basically. What I'm hoping for with this is um now Takum have started on this series of tanks that they'll maybe bring out the other variants like the, the 436, 438, um, but the one I'm really after is the 434. It's exactly the same vehicle, um, but basically the fighting compartment is indented. Uh, and what it is is the recovery armoured recovery vehicle for this series of vehicles. Um it comes with a high ab, high ab little crane on the side, and then it can lift out the power packs of the old four three twos and and change the power packs in the field, etc., etc. Um, that was before the Warrior um, armored repair vehicle come out. So hopefully, we might get a couple of variants of this coming out from Tacom. So you, you've got some options. The one thing that I did notice, like I said at the start. Um, there's no engine detail whatsoever. Although you can have the the grills open, it might be worth going on to Acura Armour or something like that and trying to get a power pack kit, the, the resin engine or something, if, if they do one. I know they do the Chieftain. I don't know if they do one for the 4.3 series. Um, but either having that in or having some sort of repair vehicle, if any of you have got, like, again, not sponsored by them or anything, but the Acura Armour Challenge, Chieftain Arves, Challenger Arves, with maybe the um, the engine hoist. You can maybe do something with the engine or power pack being taken out of the vehicle. Um, there's also no um, gearbox going across for the final drive, so you'd have to keep the hatch closed for now until somebody brings out an interior detail set for the engine side of things. Um, you're very limited as to... The interior in the back, these things come in various configurations. Um, so this one is purely for the infantry. Um, so you'd have to think of something of that. Unless you scratch something up, you can maybe put tables or something in the back for maps. Or um, various other configurations that you can find for, for the vehicle. But overall, looking at it, it it's, looks as though it's going to build up to be a really nice model. It's tiny. Um, as... I don't know how big I was expecting it. I was maybe expecting a little bit bigger, but it is actually quite a tiny vehicle. Um, considering overall length, does it say the overall length on the box here? Um, no, no, I don't. What does it? No. But anyway, um, it is is actually quite a small vehicle. It's a small vehicle in real life as well, obviously, but. Um, so that, that's the Tacom 135 FV432. Um, so yeah, any questions, any comments? If you if I maybe gone a little bit too quick on some areas there, 
um, if you like the new camera angle or not. Um, it's going to take me a little bit to get used to having the camera so high up from where it used to be. Um, but anyway, again, anything, anything you want to ask, anything you want to put in, anything you want to see again, um, just let me know in the comments below. And as soon as I start building this, which probably won't be today, um, we shall do a build log and come up with a plan of what I'm actually going to do with it. So, well done Tacom, it's about time the British line of modern vehicles or modern-ish vehicles started to get looked at. Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm pretty bored and sick of seeing World War II stuff and World War I stuff all the time. Uh, it's, I'm actually quite glad that this modern stuff is starting to appear. Um, anyway, just hope they follow up with either some variants of that or some of the newer British kit that's that's coming out um, obviously for things like people wanting to do maybe Iraq or Afghanistan di dioramas anyhow that's me and I shall speak to you guys later on thanks for your time guys and bye bye for now